Here we are with our cutaway two-speed Atlas transfer case. We're going to go over the description and operation of how the case actually works and help get a better understanding of what's going on inside your transfer case. You think of an Atlas transfer case as a synchronized two-speed transmission when operating. It has full bronze synchronization as noticed by the bronze synchronizing rings. We have cast iron shift forks, sliders, all very similar to what you'll find in an old school manual transmission. We're going to start off when the case is in neutral, both shift forks are in the center, and all gears turn when the input shafts turn, but no output shaft turn. For high range, very simple rear wheel drive, we will pull the rear axle shifter into high range now locks the rear output shaft directly to the input gear. All gears turn, but powers direct to the rear output shaft, nothing going to the front. When we want four-wheel drive high range, shifter will come forward for the front, power comes in through the input gear, across the cluster, and now we have four-wheel drive high range. We go back to neutral, and low range operation, rear wheel drive only, our input shaft now, power comes in through the cluster gear and out the rear output shaft. You will notice that as I turn this, I'm turning the input shaft much more than what the output shaft turns. There is your gear reduction, although still in two wheel drive. For four wheel drive low range, front axle engages, same power flow, and to the low speed gear for the front output shaft. Now we have four wheel drive, and huge benefit of our case, we can disengage the rear out axle, and it allows us power flow to the front axle, and nothing going to the rear. We have cast iron shift forks, bronze synchronizers, and torque lock sliders, very durable, very hard to break, this application. Well, you can see there is a small taper to each side of these teeth that makes the back of it smaller than the front. That feature is called a torque lock. Inside is a matching taper cut in to both, slider, both sides of the sliders, forward and reverse. As the slider comes over and matches the taper of the gear, when you apply power, now pulls this harder into gear so there's no way this transfer case is going to pop out of gear. People will think, well, I've pushed my clutch in or put the transmission in neutral, I've broke torque to the transfer case, now it will come out of gear. Not necessarily, you can have drivetrain bind by, easily demonstrated by turning the yokes both directions against each other, will put that same pressure on those sliders and these shifters will not come out of gear when there is torque applied. You will have to, what we'd refer to as brake torque to get this out. This can be accomplished by putting the vehicle in forward and then reverse, back and forth while applying pressure to allow the input to rock back and forth to brake torque on the torque lock sliders. Today we've talked about our Ruba crawler and demonstrated how it functioned in a vehicle and with our cutaways. We've also demonstrated a two-speed Atlas and our cutaways. Now our flagship product is our four-speed Atlas transfer case for double gear reduction similar to a 203 or 205 doubler or the Toyota dual case market. This allows a very universal product line to be used in many different applications but keep the size down to allow it to fit in shorter wheelbase vehicles such as a Jeep Wrangler or other very short wheelbase vehicles all in one unit. Think of a four-speed Atlas as you have your standard two-speed Atlas with your choice of gear ratios in the main transfer case. The four-speed Atlas has many benefits. It was originally designed around low-powered Jeep applications with large tires less the weight for the full-size guys than a 203-205 doubler and you will get the same end result. The four-cylinder Jeep with 37-inch tall tires 
you will use every ratio you have in this case. You would have a 2.72 for in sand or snow or mud so you can still have some wheel speed. You'll have like a 4.3 or 3.8 in the main case which works out very very well for most trail riding but there's still times you're going to need more gear where you're going to need that 10 or 11 to 1 reduction to be able to finesse and crawl the vehicle especially in a manual transmission. It's been very popular in the 2007 to 11 JKs with the 3.8 liter V6 that is notably under, underpowered. If you have a six speed equipped vehicle, no Ruba crawlers available, so the four speed is a perfect fit for those. Or the guys that really want to have the Atlas, they don't want to do the Ruba crawler, it's less expensive to do a four speed Atlas than it would be to do a Ruba crawler and an Atlas. With a 2.72 reduction housing integrated into one unit. They are shifted independently of each other so you would have one to one with everything in high you can engage just the planetary for a 2.72 reduction and then you would have your gearing in your main case for instance if we had a 3.8 ratio in the main case we would have for our first low range we would have high range engage the planetary now we have a 2.72 to 1 low range or what would be a factory low range ratio we shift our planetary back to direct and we can go low range on just the atlas itself allows us a 3.8 to 1 reduction then by combining the two as a doubler effect we engage the planetary and we now have a 10.34 reduction again variable ratios available in the main atlas case and allows especially lower horsepower vehicles with large tires to be able to do many things with one transfer case and for the guys that do multiple use that may be in the sand, mud and snow for part of the year and rock crawling during the summer and other parts of the year do this all with one unit and one vehicle to do it all.